Today I want to give a quick tip for people who still take a lot of insulin, either because they're insulin resistant or they have still not transitioned into a low carb lifestyle. So you see any system that's big, a big house, a big company, a big family, naturally requires a lot more management than a small system. And the same is true for insulin. When you inject just a little bit of insulin into your body to cover protein and fat, even with a, with a big error, you're still roughly uh, pretty much fine. But if you inject 10, 20 units for a meal, then you start running into problems. So that's why people like Dr. Bernstein, who's the pioneer in the treatment of type 1 diabetes, recommends that this, the largest single dose of insulin that you should ever give yourself is about 7 units of insulin because insulin let's be honest is a foreign substance in the body so we don't know how the body is going to respond every single time we do know that most of the insulin gets absorbed but sometimes a little bit of it gets cleared gets destroyed so what happens if you have to take more well you just split it into more doses so if you needed to take 10 units of insulin for a single meal you would do an injection of five in one arm and then five in the other that way the absorption will be a lot more predictable than if you were to do just one huge bolus of 10 units so always strive to eat in a way that makes you take less insulin but if you still require a lot then just split your doses and you'll see a lot more predictability in how your body responds to it on a daily basis